guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome so we just want to get right into this vlog so i was spending most of my morning getting ready kind of we were kind of in bed for a while and um just kind of laying around so now it's like 1 30 and i have so much stuff to do so i'm about to do my makeup but i figured i would just do my makeup on camera with you guys because i'm going to be using a lot of the products that i got from the vib sale so or the spring savings event whatever they call it the sephora sale so i'm going to be using the um fenty ease drops the um patrick ta bronzer that i had picked up the nars concealers i think that's it right so I figured I would just use this on camera because everyone's like raving about this and I figured I would just show you guys how I like it on camera. So I'm in the shade 13 and the only thing that I have on my face right now is a moisturizer. I don't have any primer and I'm not going to use a primer today. So we really want to see how this holds up the other day. I already wore it um, I think once, once or twice once and i really really liked it so but i did use a primer that time so i'm gonna try it for you guys on camera to show you guys how i like it and how it looks on my skin so i'm in the shade 13 and i am going to use a brush everyone's using their fingers i i'm a brush girl so i'm also going to be filming a tiktok so like if y'all can see my setup right now <laughs> y'all would think i'm crazy but i have my phone like propped up right here because I'm going to film this also on TikTok because I did a Sephora haul over on my TikTok as well. So, yeah. So, if you see me, like, looking at my phone, that's what I'm doing. So, I don't know how I'm going to do this, showing you guys and TikTok, but we're going to just make it work. So, um, let's just get into it. Alright. So, I'm going to just squirt this on my face. You don't mind my hair. It's a whole thing. It's a mess. I gotta wash it tonight, but we, you know, we move. All right, I'm gonna do it looking at TikTok first. So. Okay. So, we got some on this side. Um, even though I only wore this once, and I think I told you guys that I really liked it, I... I don't know. I just feel like this is going to be my go-to for the summer. It gives me foundation vibes, but it feels like you have nothing on your skin. Ah, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, let me. TikTok. Y'all know how I do. I gotta do both. And the shade for me is perfect. The only thing is, I'm gonna get dark as hell in the summer. I plan to. I really do. Look how pale my face is. My face is so pale compared to the rest of my body, but I plan on getting tan in the summer. So I know it's not gonna match me. But I really don't feel like picking up a darker shade right now. I don't even know like which shade I would need to pick up. Like, I know they say to go, like, two shades down, two shades darker, but I just don't feel like it. So, whenever I do get dark, I will take a, another shade up from Sephora. So, today we have a couple runs to make. We gotta go to Ulta, Sephora, the dollar store, I gotta go to CVS, just got a couple random runs and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna eat some good food and just see how this skin tint holds up i'm so pale i cannot see it so that's just one layer i'm not gonna go in with any more because one i'm gonna have a mask on all day and two, I really don't, like, if I wasn't filming for you guys, like, if I didn't have these products to show you guys, I wouldn't be putting makeup on. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to build it up because I'm really not even, I don't want coverage. I don't want too much makeup on. Like, this is going to be, like, literally 10-minute makeup. All right, so we're going to go into concealers. So you guys know that I have um, the NARS concealer in the shade... Caramel and Cersei Orge. So I'm going to go in with Caramel first. 
since it's a little bit darker and like literally closest to my skin. It might even be a little bit darker than my skin. I'm gonna film it on TikTok. And I'm going to be taking my Juno & Co sponge from Target. I love this. This is the only sponge I've been using. Like, I, I gotta pick up another one up. I love it so much. From what I remember, because I had this um, concealer back when I was in um, college. This was like one of my first like high-end, was it? MAC. MAC was my first high-end concealer and then it was the NARS. Um, and I remember it not really covering, or I just really didn't know how to do my makeup back then, which I really didn't know how to do my makeup back then. But I remember it not having like the most coverage. So... And especially now that I use the e.l.f. concealer, like, I just, other, um, other concealers just don't do it for me. They don't, the girls don't give what needs to be gave, like how the e.l.f. does. So now I'm going in with Serge the Orge. I'm probably saying that so wrong. Alright, so we're going to move into this Patrick Ta Bronzer and Contour. Uh, the packaging is just so hard to open like that's the only thing that I probably don't like about it But this is in the shade. She's sculpted So we're gonna go in with this little cream first obviously And I'm taking my um, elf buff and foundation brush. This is what I use for all of my cream um, bronzing products so I need it on TikTok I think it's because it's so cool tone and I'm just I haven't used anything cool tone on my face in so long that I'm forgetting that this is what contour actually looks like you know what I'm saying maybe it's just too light for me but this is a medium shade and the deeper one was going to be too dark for me. I do know that the shade range, it, the shade range is bad. Like the shade range needs to be extended. Like we gonna roll with it. This might be going back today. <laughs> we'll see. If the bronzer turns out good, we'll keep it. Maybe it's just supposed to be the contour is supposed to be really light, and then you go and then you just bronze up. I'm hoping that's the case. Otherwise, this is going back. So let me set my um, concealer real quick. And I'm only going to use like a little tiny bit of powder. And I'm not going to powder my whole entire face just so that we can see how well this, um, this skin tint holds up. I'm gonna just go ahead and go back in with this um, bronzer. makeup day I'm not all the way mad at it I feel like I need to give it another try when my skin is exfoliated because right now my skin is really bad I like the bronzer it's like it's kind of 
like it, I think the whole entire thing is just very buildable. Like it's a buildable product. I really like the bronzer on my nose. I really do. I'll keep you guys updated. I'm not gonna return it today. I'm gonna try it when my skin is like exfoliated and not looking all crusty and crepey. Um, but I'll keep you guys updated. I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Ice. And that's it, y'all. We done. We out of here, baby. Real quick, of the other day, this is from Amazon. I will link it down below, of course. But yeah, let's just go to the car. I gotta put some shoes on. And we out of here, baby. So I'm at CVS. I'm in the drive-thru. Actually, let me put my car park because he's taking forever. But um, I just left the dollar store because I'm going to be doing this little project, this little DIY um, that I saw my girl Ashley doing over on Instagram. So I'll link her Instagram down below. She's bomb. She can dress her ass off. She did it on Instagram. She did like a little reel of it. And it turned out bomb. So I'm going to try it. Um, but go check hers out because she killed it. Follow her also because she's so pretty. She's bomb as fuck. So um, when I saw she posted it, I was like, oh my god, I gotta try this. So I went into the dollar store and I got some vases. So basically she made like these ceramic vases like they were they're not ceramic because they're glass but what you do is you paint them she said she saw like a tiktok or something and um where you paint just like regular old clear vases and you paint them like white you can paint them any color that you want but typically ceramic vases are like a vanilla like a creamy color or like a black so she like she did that she um painted the vases and then she put some of like the um, pompous grass in it and it just looks so bomb it looks so freaking good so i just went to the dollar store and i picked up some vases they were literally a dollar of course i'll show you guys when we get home but they were a dollar like chef's kiss to the mall we're going back to sephora because i want to pick up another fragrance um and i'll show you guys which one i get um when we get back home but i'm really excited i've been reading reviews and everything i saw to my favorite people my favorite like influencers um talking about it so i'm gonna show you guys when i get home and i'll go into some more detail about it but i'm just so excited because i smelt it when i went in to get um my first things from the sale and because it was my first time smelling it um the lady just like sprayed it on my wrist and i was like okay i'm gonna walk around or whatever and see if i'm feeling it and then i forgot about it and then when i got home to film for you guys when i was filming like the zara haul and the um sephora haul i just it smelled so good on my wrist that i just haven't stopped thinking about it since then so this week for me was really 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 bad um the volcano in St. Vincent has a lot to do with it and also just like I wasn't feeling good and just like some personal things were just going on in my life that just were really like draining my spirit were just like really draining my spirit and my energy so I'm going to treat myself because it is $350 but since the sale is going on it, it takes off a big chunk of it so I'm like this is the perfect time to get it so I'm going to go ahead and treat myself I feel like I really deserve it um, I've been working really hard. YouTube school. After the mall, I have to go to Michael's to pick up the paint for the vases and also see if they have any like pompous grass or anything. I also did order some of the bunny tails um, off of Amazon and they already got delivered. So I'll show you guys those. Thank you. I'm holding Michael's. I was looking online to see if they had stuff in stock at my Michael's and everything was showing that they did. That was a couple days ago though, so I'm hoping that like, it's, you know, still there. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and head to the mall. After the after Michael's, I need to go to Ulta, but honestly, I don't think I'm gonna have enough time because on Friday, I placed an order for some food, for some empanadas. Um, we had them on Monday and y'all, they were so good. Like this little, it's like this little underground place around my way. So, um, you have to pre-order and like choose your day and your time that you want to get the food and they sell out so fast they sell out within like the first hour um like all the dates and it's only on the weekend it's only like friday saturday sunday and i believe they do mondays as well because i had hours on monday um so 
I placed my pre-order on Friday for today or Friday? No, on Thursday. Placed it on Thursday for today, which is Saturday, and I had to pick it up at five, and it's already two thirty-seven. So be cutting it close. So I'm gonna go ahead. And I'm gonna see you guys at the mall. I'm gonna drive and listen to some music. And yep, I will see you guys at the mall. And then got the drink, it's so good. It has a lollipop in it. And then the, like a whole bunch of chamoy and all that. I don't drink out of this straw. I just want my own straw, you know, cause COVID, but yeah, so good. Okay, so let me show you everything. We got a lot of stuff to show. So a lot, a lot. We got packages from Amazon stuff from today sephora so it's about to be a lot so from sephora i got the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder i got the shade medium and the shade tan you guys know that i already love medium but these are just the mini sizes so um tan and medium Again, you guys know that like I'm all about like travel size stuff right now. <laughs> so I had to get the small one of these just to keep in my bag and stuff like that. So and then tan is the new shade. It's been out for like a couple months, I wanna say. Again, the only thing is like it gets dirty really fast with this packaging. But yeah. So medium and tan. So I picked those two up. Then I also got, oh my god, this is so cute. The new Huda Beauty mini powders. So she came out with her same baking powder, but just in small, like travel size. And it's so, like, I'm tripping out right now because the box is so, so small. Like, I just love small things. And this is like exactly like her, her bigger size box. I think I have like three of those powders. I have two banana bread ones. Or no, one banana bread, and I have two, I think it's Kunafa, which is like a little deeper shade. So, I love this powder. This powder is the only powder that I use. And so, when I saw on Trend Mood that they came out with like a small one, I was like, oh my god, I need that. So, this is what it looks like. It comes with a puff. And then, again, I got the shade Banana Bread. It's like this pale yellow shade. So, how do you do this? Okay. Wait, what? Oh, I don't know how to do it, y'all. Oh, it says it. Spin for open and then, okay. And then you just shake it and it comes out. And then here's the little puff. I love this. It's probably like literally no powder in here. How many? Six grams, Point twenty one ounces of powder. So. Again, this is what I'm going to be taking on my trip because I'm either not going to be wearing too much makeup or when I do a makeup, you know, I'll only need a little bit of powder. So, this is just so stinking cute. And then I'm wondering if I could take this off somehow and like refill it with like my bigger powders. I don't know. I have to figure that out. But pick that up as well. And then the main thing that I got, the thing that I wanted. Oh my God, it's so cute, babe. Look how cute this is. Isaiah was like, where are you going to wear your perfume to? Such a hater. Anyway, I got the Tom Ford Bitter Peach perfume. And I'm so, so, so. He's like over there smiling. <laughs> I'm so happy, you guys. So I was telling you guys that I wanted to get this earlier. I didn't tell you which one I wanted or what I wanted. But yeah, Tom Ford Bitter Peach. Aaliyah and Kyra always talk about this. Especially Kyra. Kyra loves this. So... I just, when I sprayed it in Sephora last week and I came home, I just couldn't stop smelling my wrist. So I gave myself a week or two to like think about it. And so, yeah, I got it. Week, a week and a half. Um, I'm so happy. This is all I'm going to be wearing all summer. This and probably the replica. But it's the packaging. I mean, the packaging better be nice for 
how much it costs, right? So, oh my gosh, so cute. When I was at the register, um, the girl was like, oh my god, you're getting like $70 off of this. And I was like, yes, that's why I'm getting it now. Otherwise, I don't know. This is what it looks like. It's so cute. It smells so good. I don't want to spray it because I already have so much on me. I have Tom Ford um, Tabasco Vanilla, I think it is, on this wrist. And then I have Lost Cherry, Tom Ford Lost Cherry on this one. So I don't want to like spray this because then. <sighs> no, you can smell it through this spritzer. Yeah, it smells really good. It smells really, really good. When I put this on, all I know is he better not say nothing. You better not say nothing. Don't say I smell good. Just don't even say nothing. I'm talking about who's going to wear my wearing perfume too. So. And this is the 1.7 fluid ounce bottle. So this is about to be my signature summer scent this entire summer. Okay, so what else? Let's go into some packages. Speaking of Kyra, I was watching her one of her vlogs and she was like working with Nasty Gal and she showed these shoes. And they're kind of like they're kind of like the Fenty shoes, like the Fenty heels. Um, so I was like, oh wow, these are really cute. So when she tried them on, first of all, okay, size six. I was about to say. Um, wrong size but no so she showed these and they just look so cute on her they don't look like much just looking at them like this so i'll insert a picture for you guys to see how they look on but it's the color the color is like a muted sage and i already have an outfit planned and everything and then that's what the heel looks like super cute super super cute so she um showed some other things too that i thought were cute but it was like really just shoes for me and then i just went ahead and used her code so so can get her little commission or whatever so i picked that up or yeah ordered that first of all amazon really played me so i ordered this from amazon some more bunny tails and this was like 11 dollars girl I thought it was gonna be like a little bundle. So this is what I got from Michaels. This was ten dollars. This was eleven from um, Amazon. So this is gonna go in the vases that I'm gonna make in about five minutes or so. I'm hoping it looks good. But Amazon, first of all, look at the wow. No, let's go to Michaels. I think Michaels, did Michaels have white ones? I don't know if they have white ones or not, but they had like the nudish ones. Sean is big. That's what she said. I can't even lift this up, y'all. Am I weak? Ugh. I ordered the Tom Ford book from Amazon. So this was in my wish list for like, I don't even know how long, probably like a year or two. Um, and every time i would think to go order it it would be sold out and so because of the perfume like i was i kept like going on the sephora and looking at the tom ford fragrances i was like wait a minute let me go check the tom ford book on amazon and when i checked it was in stock so i ordered it right away so finally have the infamous tom ford book um this is heavy y'all i didn't think it was gonna one be this heavy and to be this big so i know it's like girl I almost cut myself i know it's um it comes with like a sleeve so you get the book and you get like the cover or like the sleeve or whatever this is so heavy and it's such nice quality so yes we love her so let me take it out of the i don't even know what to call it like cover Slip. Okay, Tom Ford. So here's the slip. Let me show you the back. Cause okay, sir. He's on the back. That's a nice picture. 
Here is the front of the book, of course, same as the slip. So it's kind of like you're getting a two and one. And then on the, oh, on the side, it doesn't say it on here, but on the actual book, it says Tom Ford on the side. So you can literally put this on your coffee table or mine is gonna go right back there with my YSL book. And then this one is gonna go somewhere else. So it's kind of like you're getting a two and one instead of just keeping it in the slip, you know what I mean? Because why would you do that when literally, you know what I mean? You have two decor pieces right here. Let me just actually see real quick. Um, Actually, no, I wanna wait until I paint the vases and stuff because I wanna just like completely, I might do a TikTok of all of that, so. Mm -hmm. All right, so I also went to Trader Joe's real quick because Isaiah's been saying that he wants French toast. So I got um, sliced French brioche bread and they had this at my local supermarket, but it's something about this Trader Joe's, like their actual brand that is just so good. Like it tastes bomb, like probably the best at home French toast or homemade French toast that I made was with this bread. So I picked that up and then I also got some more sourdough bread for our paninis that we eat for like lunch and stuff like that. And the best thing about Trader Joe's one is that it's like, they're all like really big slices instead of it being like the small slices on the ends. Like it's just, Trader Joe's is just chef kiss. And then I also got um, the sparkling lemonade that I wanted. So it's the Trader Joe's organic sparkling lemon and strawberry apple cider vinegar beverage. And I told you guys about the ginger and lemon one, but this time they only had this flavor. They didn't even have that flavor. And when I saw it, I was like, oh, yep, period. So pick this up. I'll let you guys know if it's good or not. I should have probably, no, I have a drink. I'm sorry, I probably should have drank this, but I'll probably drink it tomorrow. But so I'm so hyped. I can't wait to try it. And then lastly, from the dollar store, I got a whole bunch of vase, like I told you guys. So I got this one. They're okay looking, um, but I know they look a lot better once they're painted. So I picked up this one. I picked up some tiny ones, but low key I'm thinking I might keep this in like, I don't know if I'm gonna paint this one or if I'm gonna use it for drinks. Cause I feel like this would be so freaking pretty for drinks, you know what I mean? I'm like up in the air. I don't know if I wanna paint this one yet or another one. This one, I don't think I'm gonna paint this one. This to me looks like a champagne flute without the stem. So I don't think I'm gonna paint this one. It's so pretty. I just picked up a whole bunch of random ones. Um, I got this one, which has this on it, but I'm gonna obviously just paint over it. Hopefully it looks good, but it's just like a little cylinder one. Let me show you in comparison. So these two. And then I got this one. Again, not a fan of this. Like this is just like a classic staple, like a classic vase. I hate these type of tops, but hopefully once it's painted, it'll look good. So got this one as well. These were all a dollar by the way. Oops. Another cylinder one, cause I just, this shape is very like aesthetic to me. So I just wanted to make sure I had two of these especially if these two don't turn out the way I like them. So lastly, I just got this one, which kind of looks like a little fish bowl. Why did I get this one? I don't know why I got this one. I think I got it just because it was like a different shape. And so I could have like, you know what I mean? Mix and match, switched up a little bit. I don't know. I didn't even know I had that in my cart. So. So then I also went ahead and I got three candles. So I got a fresh linen. Oh, I didn't even smell them. Mm, it actually smells really good. This is a fresh linen, another fresh linen. And then I got a amber woods. This actually smells really good. I didn't get these to burn or anything. I got them just for like the aesthetic of them. So obviously I got white ones cause I like white aesthetic things. So, 
in my head, I was going to have one of these painted, obviously, with this inside. And then I figured I could just put, like, one of these candles, like, right next to it. And it would be, like, super cute because it's plain all around. So it's just literally just an all-white candle. So I thought that was really cute. And then I got this one just because it was kind of, like, a nude shade. But now that I'm thinking about it, I don't have nude anywhere in my living room. I have just gray, black, and white. So I might end up just painting this one. Like, painting it white. And see how that goes. And then also picked up some of these paint sponges that we used to like use in like kindergarten <laughs> and then from michael's and then we're done so from michael's i just picked up some paint i got some black paint the only thing is this is satin and it isn't matte so don't really know how i'm gonna like that and then i got matte ivory this was supposed to be vanilla I got this ivory one, but it was supposed to be vanilla. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's kind of like a yellowy. Oh my god, I'm so sad. Anyway, and then I got this white matte one. So we're going to test out the white one then. And I'm probably going to take this one back and get the vanilla shade. The vanilla is just kind of like, honestly, a mixture of these two. So, maybe I'll just mix them. No, this one is going back because this one isn't even matte. Yeah, no, this is going back. And the satin one, I don't know. We're going to see. So, I'm going to use the white one for sure. I'm going to paint the cylinder one. Um... Maybe this little fish bowl looking one. And then I'll put it next to the candle and then we'll see how it looks. I'm so sad that I didn't get the vanilla. And then I also got some paint brushes just in case. So I'm going to go ahead, put this stuff away and I'm going to start painting. We're going to see how this little project turns out. Finally finished cleaning up and um, like setting everything up. And it looks really cute for now. I really, really like how the vases turned out. Um, even the black one, even though it's not matte, I kind of like that it's satin. And it's kind of why I just went ahead and used it because I felt like it would just kind of offset the matte white. And it does. Um, Isaiah's typing right here. That's what you guys hear. I love the Tom Ford book, but I already knew I would. Um, so yeah, let me just show you guys how everything looks. Anyway, let me just show you guys. So from a distance, that's what it looks like. And then the Tom Ford, that is actually the like sleeve that it comes in. Um, and then I just put that plant right there and then there's also like a candle on the other side I put the plant just because I felt like the green would kind of like offset the 
black and white kind of and then I like how I have the little wood around the, the base of it to kind of just offset it as well and then there's the Tom Ford book YSL book Chanel book and then there are the two faces that I paint or the three actually the three that I painted um let me just go farther up for you guys so I love let me sit down I love how they turn out um I can't believe that these were literally dollar vases like I think they look really really good I don't know if they look ceramic per se but either way I like that it's not just clear glass um, because you guys know that my theme is black and white anyway so um this was the dollar store candle that i was telling y'all about that has nothing all around it um i might move it i just kind of put it there just to kind of see what it would look like just kind of playing around with it but let me give you a little closer up closer up you can see like the brush streaks but honestly i don't mind it and you see how the black one has like the the sheen of the lights like bouncing off of it from that satin finish that it has i kind of like that next to the matte white one so i'm actually really glad that i went ahead and did it and then the little bunny tails so i put the white ones and the black one obviously and then the nude brown like tanny ones and the white one just again to like offset it i had to cut the white one so that it would just fit in the black ones a little bit better and then at the bottom i just put that white one because i didn't know where else to put it um so i kind of just put it there for now and then yep my books tom ford um i will link it down below of course chanel i will link down below as well because that was from amazon also but the ysl one i got from home sense like a while ago like last year so i can't link that one but i also really like how this looks so and then of course the purple light <laughs> um this i don't i don't like it but it's just going to stay there for now um because i don't know what else to put there right now it just has like a black candle inside and some like fairy lights so for now it's just going to stay there and and so i figure out if i want to move this over there and then i don't know what i'm going to do with that and then find something for here um our sound bar is usually in the front but i just felt like you wouldn't be able to really see the vases so i moved it to the back um ideally i would like for the sound bar to not be there but we do actually use our sound bar a lot so yeah and then um here's the sleeve you can see the opening right here and it's actually really strong like it's holding up the plant pretty well and then you know my pillows are black and white and my couch is gray so it kind of just it goes all together and then the extra ones that i have i just put into my closet so that when i fix up my beauty room um slash office i'll paint those and put those in there for now i'm not painting them i just got them in my closet ready to go um my next project probably will be my beauty room so of course i'll bring you guys along for that as well um okay so let's get into the skin tint i haven't touched up y'all know i wear a mask all day um and i feel like my face looks really good like i'm oily i'm combo um usually by now all around here like my nose my t-zone would be a greasy mess i feel like it really doesn't look that bad y'all like especially in comparison to the morphe foundation which i wore on easter y'all saw by the end of the night my face was like shining my face is sitting right now still how many hours later it's 9 42 right now so basically 10 o'clock i did my face at like one so that's crazy haven't touched up it didn't really wipe off my mask okay riri it's 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 a 10 it's a 10 out of 10 for me yeah. so anyway this will 100 percent be coming with me for vacation i also ordered some more things from sephora y'all will see that in another vlog but um yeah this sale needs to hurry up and end because at this point i placed like four orders 
anyway um but yeah that's about it i'm tired i'm gonna go it really doesn't feel like i have makeup on so i could literally sit here until like midnight and feel fine like it's crazy please if you haven't gotten it during the sale get this skin tint because it's bomb but um yeah i'm gonna go wash my face off take a shower chill out hang out with isaiah and i will see you guys in my next video so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye babes